One young artist has chosen to use his brush to highlight the beauty of the aged people around him. In tonight's See Yourself with Mahalia Joseph Wharton, we hear about J.C. O'Brien's journey in art and his love for portraits. Paramount's J.C. O'Brien has had a love for drawing from the time he could hold a pencil. From a young age, Growing up with my grandfather, he was always involved in art and doing carvings and stuff like that. And I would always, you know, pay attention to him. His love for portraits developed during his secondary school days. My teacher was a portrait artist. Well, he is a portrait artist. Um, Daryl Senori at Fatima. So he's a portrait artist. I remember seeing his work and, you know, I didn't think that you could work chalk, because you used to work chalk pastels and get so realistic and stuff like that. He shared with us his preferred subjects. A lot of my portraits would be senior citizens. Um, and not only senior citizens, but they'll be senior citizens with more detail within the eyes specifically. I try and tell a story with the eyes. I think a lot of people will gravitate towards the eyes of the portraits. Every wrinkle on the faces of the elderly featured in his work is vividly portrayed in his art. Seeing people cry, watching their pieces and stuff, yeah, it does make me, it does make me myself tear up, you know. Seeing people cry, seeing people speechless, seeing people with their mouth open wide, they turn in slow and then they're watching at you and they're like, you know, I always be, I always be like, yeah, yeah, that's 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 my work. Even with AI on the scene, with the capabilities to produce an image that looks like a painting, he believes that there are those who would still appreciate his brush strokes. It will be appreciated, I think, just knowing the fact that this came from someone's hands, you know, and that a machine doing it is actually someone's God-given talent putting forward this work. I think that's, that's something that should be appreciated, I'd say. He's encouraging parents to help their children nurture their talents. My mother, I remember, they spent a lot of money on paint, painting over walls, because I just used to be drawing over walls, and I, I can't really farm. I can't really remember any time my mother beat me with anything related to art. And there were some times where I'll be doing certain things and just to see her expression would always, you know, encourage me and keep me focused and keep me going in that direction. JC said art can be a positive avenue for young people. Aside from his love for portrait painting of the elderly, he's also working on some other pieces. I have a body of work coming out with a lot more paramin scenes and highlighting where I'm from and what it's like living in the rural village of Parman and you know you're portraying what it's like being in the village and not like someone coming in not like someone coming into the village where's our body that um, I plan on exhibiting shortly. His goal is to one day exhibit his pieces on an international stage. I'm Mahalia Joseph Horton and this is See Yourself on TDT News. <laughs>